experience. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed, whereas thou sawest it. And thou wentest to the king with ointment, and didst increase their, thy perfumes, and didst sent thy messengers far off. Didst debase thyself even unto hell. Thou art wearied in the greatness of thy way, yet saidst thou not, there is no hope. Thou hast found the life of thine hand, therefore thou wast not grieved. And of whom hast thou been afraid or feared, that thou hast lied and hast remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of old, and thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain." And shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth. For the spirit should fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of the covetousness was I wroth and smote him. I hid him. I hid me, and was wroth. And he went off. He went on frowardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near, saith the Lord. I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose water casts mirror and dirt. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked.